Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Today I'm going to make a quick video and uh, show you what I call gravel farming. Uh, you can see behind me that they've just recently plowed and we are expecting rain tonight and then most of the day tomorrow and then I think there's supposed to be a couple dry days and then for the rest of the week they've got pretty good chances of rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and uh, put some of these furrows and channel them together and show you how I can actually make my own gravel out here using Mother Nature and that kind of speeds up the amount of gravel that I've got if I come down say next weekend and we've had quite a bit of rain um, these furrows that I put together will catch a lot more water you get a lot more erosion and if you've done it right you end up with a lot more gravel so uh, there's really no telling what they're going to look like I mean I can make them today and come back next week and they could be all torn up but uh, for now we'll give it a shot and see what we end up with all right, so what I'm gonna start out doing is, I'm gonna join some of these furrows just in different places and try and get as much water as I can running into one or the other side and then uh, kind of crisscross that furrow back and forth. So I'll start out just shoveling these things together and just kind of funneling water into this one furrow. So I've just taken and dug a little channel right across there. And what that's going to do is this will stop the water from going further down that furrow. So it'll, it'll actually catch any of the water coming down from that side. It's going to stop right here. It's going to channel all that over here. And I'll probably do a couple over here on the other side. Uh, kind of catch some of the water coming down these other two furrows over here. Channel lows into this and then uh, go further down. Let's see if we go further down, probably this furrow right here. We'll get a little ways down there. We might channel a couple more areas into it here and there. Just catching as much water as we can. So I've got uh, channel cut a couple, uh, channel cut across a couple more of those furrows on that side. You see, so they're going to channel water into this one. So the wind is really blowing out here. Hopefully you can hear me. I'll probably cut across a couple more of these. There's not a whole lot of slope right here. I may go a little bit further down. Maybe right down there a little bit. Channel a couple into this one. That should collect a little bit more water. Alright, so I've got about four or five furrows joined together on this side and I've got three or four over here on the other side. 
and it's going to channel a bunch of water right down through here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get, you know, I've got all that water going to be rushing through here. I'm going to start zigzagging this furrow back and forth. And what you want to do is you want to make as much turbulence in there as you can. The more that water has to stop and turn and, and you build pressure on one side and, you know, speed it up in other places, stuff like that, um, the more gravel it's going to create because it's washing silt away with all that turbulence. So uh, I'll start with the shovel and just start throwing it back and forth. Okay, so the first crossover I've done right here, that's going to send the, all that channel water across that. So I'm going to start moving down the incline, going back and forth like that. That'll send that water back and forth kind of in a snaking pattern. So uh, I'll better get busy. It's about 3.30. They're going to close up shop over here in about 30 minutes. Alright, so I think I've got uh, several of these furrows joined together. I've got it crisscrossing back and forth where it's going to wash back and forth across the furrow. And then uh, by the time it gets down here to this slope, it's going to be uh, quite a bit of water channeled through here. So maybe that'll wash a lot of this silt away. The whole idea is, is to get a lot of water going through there and then changing directions. Another good idea, which I didn't have time to do it today because they're about to close, is to take some of the big chunk rocks and actually lay them down into the low parts. That way as the water washes around it, it creates turbulence and it can wash a lot of that silt away and leave all that gravel right in behind that rock. It's a kind of a diamond trap. Uh, works about the same principle as gold in a riverbed behind, you know, finding gold in a riverbed behind big boulders and stuff. So um, same principle applies out here. So uh, hopefully we can get back out here and see what this looks like tomorrow. Too windy. Windy. <laughs> 